In this video, we will download all the data necessary to complete the course. The source of the data that we will use is called Natural Earth. I've entered naturalearthdata.com into my browser to reach its home page. I'll click this large green button called Get the Data. And we need to download data suitable for a scale of 1 to 10 million from the cultural layers, so I'll click that button. Under Admin Zero Countries, I'm going to click the Download Countries button. And if you're using Internet Explorer like I am, you click the Open button to start downloading the data. After a short time, you'll see the data in Windows Explorer where you can click Extract All Files and the location that we want to put this is into C PolyGeo. That folder will get created if it doesn't already exist and you can use a different location if you wish but that's just a place that I'll be describing the data. I can close that one and look for the next data set. I also want to get the States and Provinces, so I'll click the Download States and Provinces button. Click Open. And once again, we can extract all files. We'll extract them into PolyGeo. and we can move on to get the next data set. We'll get the populated places by clicking download populated places button. Open that up. Click extract all files. Place into C PolyGeo. And move on to the last data set, which is railroads where I'll click the Download Railroads button, open it, we'll extract all files, that's a length again to PolyGeo, and we now have all the data downloaded. I'll minimise my browser and I have ArcMap open here ready to look at the data. In the catalogue window, under Folder Connections, I'm going to connect to a folder and the folder I'll connect to is under C Drive and PolyGeo, which is where we just place that data. After opening a new folder connection to C PolyGeo, I'm going to right click on the country shapefile Open its item description and preview its geography. I'll leave that window open and I'll click on the states and provinces shapefile to update that with all the boundaries of the various states and provinces in the different countries. The populated places is a point feature class and then the railroads are lines. Let's leave ArcMap open in readiness for the next video.